What's going on everyone? Castle Crag back with God of War Ragnarok. Let's see if we can't find this some stuff use. to do. Uh -huh. Want something in particular? Nothing appeals mm. to you? That's a nope. I don't have I don't have enough for you, right? It, you don't need no. It. Alrighty, then we're moving out this way. There's a half goofer there. There's a berserker gravestone. Some oh, that's right. I remember exactly where it is. Freya, I've always wondered why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freya was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim back in the dawn of realm travel. <laughs> Oh, a bit before my time. You tell. So there's one other thing that I haven't done here in the Barrens. I'm not we honestly entirely sure what it is. That all the giants had died in the flood until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost light. Freyr became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander. And along came someone who could truly show him how. Old. What is that? The hilt craze battle that great. Never mind that. Time to fight. All right, let's see what we can do here. Come under the crow. Dagger the gold and bitter the <laughs> Okay. Yep, we're just giving this one up. <laughs> uh... Yeah, no, no shot. <laughs> we have zero chance against that. That's that's certainly something. I thought the other one was difficult. Where's our? There we go. End game stuff right there. So I suppose we're going this way. Freya, getting back to your brother learning the realm travel. You said he fell in love with his teacher. Yes, Gerd. Someone he could wander with as never before. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree <clears throat> from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freya was heartbroken and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be mm. the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyer believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of vanilla nope. herbs. When he wandered, he wandered. Another uh, time. Let's focus. So basically, he got high. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean another half gufa. Let's go ahead and do this real quick, shall we? as though the light elf sealed off this section of the barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel and we can unseal it. My, that is lucky. The forbidden sands lay beyond. Let's the go. Territory, according to Bela, and another storm to... The Hjarta. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. 
I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's oh. a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half -gifa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing... Mm-hmm. Forbidden sand. Alright, so there are four ravens here. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave. I see an entrance. This is something. Uh, we go down here. We're definitely doing this first. I hope Freyr will appreciate our work here in the desert. I wonder if he knows how poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the song of the sands mm. again is a rare privilege. Even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hakdufa is free. This architecture. It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track then. Okay. Quite curious. Okay, I don't know what purpose that serves. Seeing as there's a way across right there, there doesn't seem to be much purpose in this. Unless that way across disappears. Material is sensitive to sound. How odd. That is odd. came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. Hmm. I didn't realize it was covered by hive metal. Aye. And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far hmm. older than the light well, or even our trapped half giver for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, dangle from a... So we have two legendary chests down here. for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. Two legendary chests. Doesn't seem to be any other path here. Well, 
There you go. Hmm. I kind of don't want to fight any. God damn it. Nest up here, they're gonna have to go kill. Yeah. Ow. Stupid. I've seen no signs of any side paths as of yet. <laughs> Grims, huh? And a boss grim of some sort. See, this is exactly the kind of easy fight I was looking for before in over in Svartalheim. Don't know why I couldn't be given this in Svartalheim. Underneath the barons, do they? Territory changes hands often in Alfheim. Also, it appears. Big Vier did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light mm -hmm. Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at Could least we... they tried. Thank you. I suspect the corpse below would disagree. Alright, there must be some kind of secret in here. Other than the piece of lore. That can't possibly be all that's in here. Hmm. I guess it is, though. So odd. Burrow. So we got one artifact and two legendary chests, and we found... 
neither legendary chest nor have we found an artifact. No, that's not it. Yep, yep, yep. I saw that. Unfortunately, this is just for a regular chest. Not particularly worthwhile. Shall we? There must be something over here, right? Stone wood, okay. I mean... Interesting. Stand still for a second. Incoming, above you. All right, fine. We're going over there. Do that, please. I fucking pressed for Spartan Rage. I pressed the button for Spartan Rage. I'm not wasting the goddamn revive right there. What the shit is this? Fuck you. You get to die now. Above you, watch out. Die. Another to the left. Oh, my God. 
No. Goodbye. God damn it. There's another one. What the hell? It's just standing there. Goodbye. I hope freeing these half goofers will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. Hmm. Okay, I get it. I understand what I'm to do here. Could you please? Ugh, you know, Kratos could legit fight Thor, probably win, but nope, climbing a. Uh, or just dropping down from a bit of a height. What is this barking that I'm hearing? There's one of our legendary chests at least. Like it. See, that does exactly what I would want it to. Shit. I see. I figured it out. It's one of those freaking worms that I gotta hit before. It disappeared, like I got a hit from behind it. Okay. <sighs> yes, let's let Freya go first for whatever reason. She can be the blood sacrifice or whatever. Looking for an artifact in the legendary chest. Oh, I can get them in here. I 
wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face once free. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafgufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their light to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Given another chance, I know what choice I make. Interesting choice. And now we can do this one. Well done. Time to set it up. Hi. Back to the surface then. Maybe there's an artifact over this way. No. Maybe a boss fight in here of some sort. Yep, there we go. You bitch. I hate that damn attack. There we are. And next we can, uh... Come on, give me something good. Maybe we're gonna attack. Four one threes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, this time Freya doesn't have to climb first. God damn it. Oh, okay, I was afraid I was gonna have to fight something there, and I was like, "No, I don't want to." You can't make me game. Fate of these creatures reminds me of a story. Does it? 
There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Kratos, of... is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. She died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well... At least it's a relatable story. sake all I want to do is turn the damn thing Not meant to turn the thing. Mm -hmm. this? Oh, I see. And there's the exit. It appears we've overstayed our welcome in our pipe. Oh, you're oh, fucking oh, kidding me. Oh, I didn't even tell you to switch arrows, you stupid bra. Nope. Die. Nobody likes you. Time to end this storm. Yes, time to end the storm. I agree, Freya. here where I can destroy this thing that's right get rid of all of it and allow Afuga to fly <laughs> full Gufa that's funny if my stories are no comfort Take solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's sister. <sighs> know, there is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. Yes, perhaps there'll be more eventually. Could we please, uh... It's beautiful. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty. Oh. 
kind of reminiscent of a whale. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. Until Thor pops in and just beats the heck out of both of them. Could we... I'm sorry, are they melting? No to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? Well, I know one thing. There is a raven here. And he's going to prove difficult to hit, right? Excuse me. I Got him. Raven sent to the tree of the dead. Perhaps we should check up on it. Hmm? A statue of my brother. How quaint. Oh lordy. This statue may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and hmm. allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. Ah. I see, I see. This does seem like a quick one. You said monuments are useless. Why restore this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. Mm-hmm. I'm going to guess that there's a reason for that. Right? Yeah. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. Ugh. Yes, I would need to find a way to the other crystal somehow, though. Ow. Oh. Yeah, that would help. Alrighty then. I mean, I'm kind of okay just doing it this way. Ring of 
looks like we can read the inscription now as well. All right, let's go ahead and figure out what this glow is. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freya's gift endures after all. Or should I say... Oh. Hmm. Is it presents? You are not funny. Mm hmm. What's it say, brother? We have no need for this one, however. I can simply go put this back where it belongs. Alrighty then. Even when Freya was actually here, the peace was fragile. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Before I, I would like Faye, I could not imagine a life of peace. <sighs> After her death. When I was to Jotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. Perhaps the El- I'm El Enchantment. Alfheim. Last second dodges and power cradles next attack based on their strength. Eh, that's not great. We'll find peace again one day, even without Freya's guidance. His presence continues to guide them, whether they realize it or not. A light elf statue in the desert. Oh, I just heard hi. a raven. Herbert, this is the sanctum Big Veer spoke of in Van Eye. What the hell? What the fuck? Um, alright. I guess we're trying to fight this thing. Where'd it go? Excuse me. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah. There we go. And I'm in. Oh, yeah. There we are. It's done. Do, 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 do. Apparently, it's still stunned. Apparently, you have enough time while it's stunned to get more than one almost. Oh, hello. No. We found you on accident. And another one. There's the raven we found. Okay, folks, well... We've done a couple things. But... There are quite a few other things to do as well. So we'll come over and look at this Berserker's Grave. Uh, this place, there's a lot of stuff to do. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.